How's it going everybody? This is Sanak here back for episode one of our Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you smash that like button, the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, which from now on I will consider called, well I will call it the Shell Bell because it's a Pokemon item. <laughs> So if you want to be part of the Sanak squad, please make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff. But I'm going to stop delaying. And we had 61 votes total for all of these Pokemon. So I would love to thank every, each and every one of you for taking the time and doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with who got the least, obviously. Um, so unfortunately, Dratini got only four votes. Not too many people wanted Dratini for within reason. I checked the movesets of all the Pokemon and I'm actually kind of happy that nobody chose Dratini because of the lack of the movesets and everything. Okay, and here's the kicker. These Pokemon, the winner only won by one vote. And it was that close. It kept going up. One, this other Pokemon kept going first. It was back and forth. So the Pokemon that got second place is Bagon. So Bacon will not join us in our journey. I know I made a typo on the poll and everyone was rooting for Bacon, but um, Larvitar won, when I'm, and I'm still really happy about that. Larvitar is a really good Pokemon. So, with that, I'm going to change the layout just a tad. After I get the Pokemon's nickname, because um, in the last episode zero, um, Trainer Nugs called for him to be called after the Larvitar. So if you guys have not, please go check out Trainer Nugs. He is a great great content creator here and a pokétuber here in the community um right now he's currently going through a pokemon black wedlock so he he it's a pretty fun series if i sh should say so myself so it's really good please go check it out thank you trainer nugs and i really appreciate it um and with that let me actually change the layout so it looks like this was episode zero's layout and this is episode one boom would you look at that all righty so Yes, the common question of the day that I have for you guys in this episode is, who is your favorite pseudo since Drew decided to give us all pseudo options? So um, for me personally, I think... Oop. My bad, guys, I didn't put the sound back. <laughs> Someone should have told me. No, I'm kidding, it's not a live stream. But anyway, um, for my ser uh, favorite pseudo, I would say... Um, it's a tough one because, I mean, you have really awesome ones like Garchomp, you have awesome ones like Metagross, um, another one like Larvitar as well, and then there's just a lot to choose from, but for some reason, I mean, not only because of this Nuzlocke, um, but I have to give it to Tyranitar because... Um, back in Pokemon uh, Platinum, I used to play the Battle Frontier all the time. And Tyranitar was my go-to Pokemon for the competitive teams that actually carried me to the victory. Um, I'm actually going to use a potion here because I want to win this and make sure that I get the money because every cent is going to count for this game. Especially with all the potions and all the Pokeballs that we need to buy. Um, and this is... I'm really nervous for it because I would love to take this uh, Tyranitar or... Turn this Larvitar into a Tyranitar. Oh my god, the flinch hacks are real. Oh, oh my god. What a waste of a potion though, too. That's crap, guys. Okay, so that's my fault. Luckily, the Nuzlocke rules do not apply here. So I'm going to kind of go over the rules and everything for people who are new and, decide and don't know anything about Nuzlocke yet. So luckily, we don't lose out any money here. But... Rule number one of a Nuzlocke is that you cannot... I mean, you're going to have to only capture one Pokemon in each route, and you only have that one chance. If you do not capture it, it's forfeited. You cannot capture any other Pokemon. And then rule number two is that you have to nickname your Pokemon uh, to form that bond with the, the trainer. So what I'm going to be doing is um, nicknaming it after all you lovely people. 
And then n rule number three, and this is the harshest one, obviously. It's going to be if a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead. So I'm going to have to box it or release it. In my case, I'm going to box them so we can remember everyone. Um, and so... Ooh, Electrike. So those are all the main rules. And then for me personally, I'm also going to try not to over level um, at all for the, gy the gym leaders or anything too. So that's going to be kind of like a more personal thing that I would like to do. But that's mainly it. I'm going to have all these rules in the description as well. Um, what I'm going to do is just, we need to head over to Viridian City to pick up Oak's parcel, obviously. So I'm going to heal up real quick to mark the spot here. And then what I'm going to do is, I heal twice, I'm only. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, when I get the parcel, I'm going to train up just a little bit. I'm going to get Nugs to level 8. Hey you, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? So we received Oak's parcel. Very nice. Big name. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to go train up. Um, well, before we do, let's see if Drew actually r randomized the items or not. So there's a potion here. Okay, it's a potion. No, he didn't randomize the items, unfortunately. Which is fine. Should be fine, though. Okay, so let's let's kind of scope out what we can get here. Ooh, a pile of swine. That could be power. Um, unfortunately, this is not fourth gen, so we can't get a mammal swine. So, but I mean, pile of swine should still be good in its own regards. Okay, so pile of swine's here. We should be good. Some good experience. Me. Oh my god. Damn it. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> Go heal up real quick. I know the Nuzlocke rules don't apply yet until we get Pokeballs, but I don't want to abuse it and keep losing money anyway because you still lose money. Oh no, Wigglytuff. Mm, I'm not. I don't know how I feel about Wigglytuff yet, but I think they do come with Sing and everything already, so that could be useful to put some. Po oh, a Scizor. These Pokemon are getting good. I'm, I'm nervous. I hope they don't give us something that we cannot catch. I'm afraid for this Scizor though, because I feel like it's going to be really hard to catch. And we're, we're only going to have five Pokeballs right now. Okay, so... Get to level seven there. Okay, and then fight more Pokemon. Ooh, an Illumise. Okay, so that's not going to be amazing if we encounter this Pokemon. I really hope we don't get that one. Oh my god! I would love a Typhlosion to be honest. Oh my god, can we please, RNG Jesus, get this Typhlosion to happen? There are too many good options! Okay, so there, out of all these options, watch us, we're gonna get the worst one, knowing my luck. Okay, cool, so we got Nugs up to level 8, so that's it for what I wanted to do. And then, let's see if we can get out of here, oh crap. Oh no! It's a Rayquaza. We're not gonna catch that thing at all. That is not gonna be caught. Some good experience though. Okay guys, I really really hope we don't encounter that Rayquaza because that's basically a forfeited encounter at this rate because let's be real, his catch rate is absurdly low. Okay, so now, let's go ahead and give Professor Oak his parcel, so that way we can go ahead and move on with the story. Oh, Sanok, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? So we delivered his parcel, so dun dun dun, we're gonna start this Nuzlocke very very soon. So custom Pokeball. Gramps? I almost forgot, what did you call me for? Oh, right, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon that you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech like it's a high-tech encyclopedia. Sanok and Drew, take these with you. So we received the Pokedex. Very nice. It's not gonna matter because we don't have it national anyway. So let's catch them to obtain data. Blah blah blah. Oh boy, here we go. So this is where it starts. Okay, well, one Pokemon appears, fair game. Okay, thank you. We already know this. Okay, so I am nervous. I am extremely nervous. 
and I'm super hyped up for this. Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me. Sanak, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Sanak. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around my place after this. You are smug. Um, how do you all think of the new layout, by the way? I forgot to- f I failed to mention that, but if you guys were in the live stream that I had done recently, you would have seen it already. But, look at the new sign, guys. I have the sign here. Has my name on there, but obviously from every episode and stuff, I'm gonna kind of change out the coloring and stuff, too. So, it's kind of fun. I I'm leaving it green right now because that's my favorite color. So, just decided to point that out. Okay, so we got the town map here, and the objective for this episode, um, I would like to see if I can get through the Viridian Forest, if not... Okay, but first, let's get all the encounters that we can right now. I'm gonna close my... Hmm, a Tyrogue. Okay, so that's not gonna be terrible, but it is gonna be a pain. To train up a little bit because if I'm not mistaken he gets only tackle um, until if I'm not mistaken until level 15 if not he gets another move until he evolves so that's gonna be another thing too is uh, the move sets of all these Pokemon and everything too okay so let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon and add it to the team for now okay so I'm gonna pull up the comments because I am super prepared. Oh crap, you're making us waste Pokeballs. Thank you, Tyro. Please don't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of speed through this. Can we catch it? Oh no, please don't waste all our ball. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We caught the Pokemon. Okay. So, I would like to name this Tyro after her. Fast food hotline, because he's been amazing with the support lately. So we're gonna go ahead and name this after fast food hotline. I really hope you're okay with this being named after you. Um let's go ahead and do it like Let's do FFH. So that way. If you guys have not, please check out Fast Food Hotline. He's a an amazing person in the community. Very, very, very fun person to talk to, and right now he is currently doing live streams of uh, sh uh, Sword. Oh wow, we could add a Blissey too, but thankfully we don't. Um, but he's currently doing a live stream of sh uh, Sword right now, and he um, is also going to start setting up for a new series. So he's asking for people to leave uh, uh, stipulations for his Pokemon series that he's going to be doing, and... Trust me, it's going to be a fun one. Everyone's being mean. <laughs> so, so welcome to the team, Fast Food Hotline. Um, I'm going to be adding it to the layout, hopefully in post-editing. If not, I will let you know on screen if I messed it up or not. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this can be added in post as well. So that way I don't have to kind of keep making these layouts as I'm going. I already knew who was the starter, so that way I already knew this layout. But hopefully the layout and everything, the layout situation can be fixed and handled easily. Okay, so. What's the plan? Okay, right now, I how much money do we have? We have 3,000 polka dollars. So right now, I would like to stock up on some Pokeballs. Uh, let's buy 10. And then the rest we can spend it on potions because we're going to need that. And then I have a feeling we're going to need this antidote as well. So you never know. We can run into anything that will literally destroy anything. So, And also kind of a general rule for... Uh, not a rule, but I'm going to try to keep these episodes to be around 20 minutes. So that way... Um, these don't take too long and like you know i try to get through as not as quick as i can i'm not trying to rush through it as uh like just to get it over with but i just kind of don't want you guys to have really 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 long episodes um so that way like if you guys aren't too busy to watch it or, like if you're busy like there's something you can just kind of take a break with or something um 
I'm honestly gonna go get the encounter up here first, and I'm gonna save. Okay, I'm gonna skip through this because yada yada yada, it's a catching tutorial. I'm gonna skip through this one. Thank you, sir. And then I'm gonna get my Route 2 encounter. And I am nervous for this one. I hope it's a... We're not able to scout them out. We're able to... We just have to catch them now. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What's it gonna be? Uh... Is that a Mewtwo? Oh, that's Mew. They have similar cries. Oh no, we cannot capture this Pokemon. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. <sighs> okay. Hopefully it doesn't have transform right now. I'm gonna use you fast food. Hopefully you'll survive one hit. I'm gonna just kind of play this by ear. Okay, you'll survive one more. I just need it. I need you to whittle it down just once. Okay, okay, so what I'm gonna do is now send back... Oh no, it's because I don't want to start using potions and stuff. Ugh. Okay. I'm just gonna go back out to Nugs. To eat up all this damage, because thankfully I'm a rock type right now. And I'm gonna, I'm only gonna go... 5 Pokeball limit. Anything other than that, it's a lost cause to me. I'm not gonna be wasting too much on this. Okay, so I kind of expected that. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's do Sandstorm. Whittle it down, because it will go away after a while. Okay. I'm gonna just do Leer to start weakening it. Please don't die on us. Okay, so we got it in the red. Okay. One, two, oh my god, this is gonna be so stressful. I am so ready for this. I really, really, really hope we get this Mew. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so I kind of expect, I think that's, I, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna happen. I really don't think so. One. Okay, one more chance, and if unless it gives me three shakes, I won't be doing it again. So last Pokeball, hopefully it shakes, and if it ca if it catches, oh my god! One, two, three! Oh my god! <laughs> no way! Fine, I will only use two more. Two more, and that's it. I cannot be wasting these Pokeballs. Okay. Come on, Mew. One, two, three. Yes! I'm, I'm so happy about this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So, I want to name this after a very, very special person to me. So it's so rare that it's said to be a mirage by experts. I never thought this would happen. She is my amazing luck charm in this lifetime. So I'm gonna name this after my wife, Lanak. So welcome to the team, Lanak. I am so hyped, guys. Oh my god. We have a freaking Mew. <laughs> Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so we're gonna only be rocking Pound for a while, but I mean, look at those defenses and everything. It should be fine. Um, I'm uh, hopefully I'm gonna get these Pokemon trained up a bit, but um, what I'm going to do? Excuse me. Um, what I'm going to do is just I want to end the episode here at the Viridian Forest because. This is gonna be another dungeon that we have to take down and I would love to off-screen train these Pokemon or not off-screen, I'm gonna train these Pokemon and um, I'll put it in a grinding montage for you all so that way you can see it. Um, but let me, um, I, let me guess, I, I, we'll see how it happens. If you guys like the, the 
training montages and stuff um, we'll keep them and then if not like I'm, I'm fine with not including them but anyway thank you all so much for watching and I really hope that you all are excited as much as I am please leave down in the comments uh, your who is your favorite pseudo um, like I said mine was Larvitar and well mine is Larvitar because it holds a special place in my heart <laughs> um, but with that being said Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys back here for episode two. See you all then.